Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimera Mentions Reality Update video, episode 27. And you can see I just can't wait to get this upgrade because of how overpowered it is. So, here we go. All galaxies are 50% stronger. Now, I'm gonna start going way higher with the infinity points. E13 instantly, which is crazy. And this means I can start getting not only infinity point doublers, but also stuff like this. I don't know why I just spent everything on that upgrade, which is kind of weak. I can also get the third infinity dimension. So that's also cool. I can also get another upgrade of the first infinity dimension. And then I can go here, get an infinity point doubler. And just like that, I'm all the way up to E15 infinity points. So here's another E15. This is this will get another infinity infinity dimension which will help things drastically again now I'm all the way up to e16 so i can get another doubler we can go back to break infinities i can get auto buyers work twice as fast and i can get one of these upgrades which will help me get more galaxies later on i'm also going to max this upgrade and get another infinity point doubler and an infinity dimension thing or upgrade not just thing so now, yeah, E18 infinity points, another doubler coming up, and maybe it is it is time to just do infinity challenge one, which is just going to be a joke. Here we go. That gets me the last achievement of this row, and it gives me the reward of infinity challenge one. I also probably want to start automatic making challenges not retry automatically, because that there's kind of no point for that at this point. I'm not trying to lower challenge times anymore. So, anyway, E18 infinity points. It looks like it is starting to slow down a little bit, but then I can get another reduce the cost scaling, and those upgrades are always nice. There's no infinity dimension upgrades I can get, but there's another doubler coming up. I'm going to get that. E20 infinity points. The next one of these upgrades is 6.25 E21, so it will take a little bit longer, but come on, this is this is still much quicker than it was before. Oh, I didn't even notice there's an E20 Infinity Dimension upgrade there. That's why everything was going so slowly. Now I can get all the way up to E21, get another Infinity Point Doubler, and then at 6.25 E21, Infinity points, I'll be able to get another reduce the post infinity and I already mentioned cost multiplier scaling. These upgrades are very powerful as I start I get closer to maxing them. So there we go. E22. Going back here, there isn't anything I can get immediately, but at E23, there is a upgrade I can get. The first infinity dimension, which are actually the most powerful ones, because I don't know why, but they do like a 50 times multiplier where some of the others are like 10 or 5 times multipliers. Don't make any sense. But now I'm up to E24. Infinity points. It's not I'm not close to any infinity dimension things, but that is okay. Just a couple more upgrades until I get another doubler. And then after that, a couple more upgrades until I get a Reduce post infinity and third dimension cost scaling. So here we go. 3.12 E25 infinity points. This is one of this is just gonna yeah, it's gonna be so powerful. It gets me all the way to E26 right there. And then you can also start using hotkeys instead of using the mouse. So that, that's what I'm gonna do because it's it's just faster if I do it this way. And E27 infinity points. That will get me more infinity dimensions, and it'll get me another infinity point doubler. Now, I probably got another galaxy, so E28 infinity points. I can probably push all the way to E29 now, and this is 1.56 E29. It's the most powerful out of the bunch of these upgrades, so here we go. This is going to probably push me all the way up to, like, E30-something. Yeah, E32 infinity points so now it is just buying these upgrades and buying the infinity multiplier infinity point multipliers 
it's just like this until I get to the next infinity challenge. So that's what I'm going to do. See in a bit. One interesting change from the vanilla game here is that the reward for Infinity Challenge 1 is actually nerfed from 1.5 times on all Infinity Dimensions for each Infinity Challenge completed to 1.3 times, which is weird. It was, it, was, it was probably the weakest Infinity Challenge reward in the first place, so I don't know why they wanted to nerf it additionally. So, it's kind of weird, but whatever, I'll, I'll deal with it. It's still not slow at this point. So as I approach this challenge, things are actually starting to slow down here. I, It's going to take a little bit to even just reach E10,000 antimatter, which gives me the achievement. This achievement doesn't exist, so I guess that's nice. But there isn't really any upgrades that are really that close within reach. The E47 here is actually going to be really useful. So I'm just going to grind to get that upgrade. So here we go. E47 infinity points. This hopefully will get me another galaxy. It actually doesn't seem to be getting me another galaxy. Maybe I'm really close to it. I need E10,183 antimatter for it. I also could sacrifice, even though it's kind of weak at this point. And I don't have an auto buyer for it. But anyway, here we go. This gets me up to about 3 E47 infinity points. It's still not actually enough to get the next infinity dimension, which is kind of lame, to be honest. But I guess that's what I just have to deal with here. So actually, the galaxy gets me up to about E10,400 antimatter. So I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm just so close that, especially with the sacrifice, I'm just going to push all the way to... E10,500 antimatter. So here we go. This gets me a new infinity dimension, a new achievement, and it, it allows me, yeah, this is going to help a lot. And finally, the game is going to start getting a little bit faster, at least. I also can start doing the next infinity challenge here, because, yeah, I've unlocked infinity challenge 2, and... I should just do it right here. It's it, it just needs to reach E10,500 antimatter. It shouldn't be that hard. There we go. Challenge complete. So this means that I the dimensional sacrifice is actually way stronger than it was before and I get a sacrifice auto buyer. So I can I can do 1.01 but since I don't have it's over 9000, it it will be sacrificing all the time. So I'm going to make it 2 instead of like 1.01 or anything. So now we're gonna go back to this. We can get a whole bunch of infinity dimension multipliers. So this pushes me all the way to E53 or even higher infinity points. So what is this, E54? Did that get me anything? No, the next one's E56 infinity points. So even with all of this, it is still a little bit slower than I might want it to be considering how much I've played through this section of the game because I've I have made it to eternity many times on many different Antimary Dimension saves and this part of the game is just like just it's just a grind it may be quicker than like pre-rake infinity but the other thing is that like you can't just like leave for a week or a day and suddenly you've made an insane amount of progression so Anyway, I can still get E57 infinity points this way. And I'm just going to try to get two doublers. And with that, I should probably get something about yeah, two E57, get an infinity point upgrade, and then do the infinity challenge three. And here's a point where I want to say that um, the one of the best parts about this achievement galaxies no longer reset dimension boost is inside of infinity challenges because normally in infinity challenges because the last row of the regular infinity upgrades don't function for every galaxy you just have to um you have to go through one two three four one two three four one two three four dimension boosts there isn't anything else you can do but with 
but with, with this achievement award now i can just go up to four dimension boosts once and then never have them reset anymore this will be this is good in all the infinity challenges but it is going to have the biggest effect in reducing the tediousness of infinity challenges four and five so you can see i mean this challenge is actually taking a while i might have started it a little bit early but that's okay but like if i was way further it would have taken way less time so now the reward of this is just an answer to mention multiplier based on answer galaxies and tick speed purchases it's just like having it's, it's just like a boost to galaxies essentially just written in a weird way so now we can get all the way to e61 infinity points right there which probably means i can push well into the mid 60s in the exponent of infinity points so e64 this now i have unlocked the infamous infinity challenge 4 which yeah i don't want to start right away because going through those challenges it's just it's a pain if you start it and you cannot finish it and you've done so so much into it you've you've invested so much time into it so that's why I'm going to just grind a little bit more, even with the boost to, or not like the achievement reward, it's still going to take a decent amount of time for Infinity Challenge 4. I at least want to get like E69 Infinity Points, because nice. And also there's just Infinity Dimensions and all that there, so... Yeah, that gets me up to E69, it gets me a doubler and one of these. I might want to do even one more run, just to see how far I can get. Yeah, I can get all the way up to E70. So, I can do this, I can also get a doubler, and enter Infinity Challenge 4. Although at this point, since I'm already here, I just want to get that first, and then we can start the challenge. So, I'm going to start this challenge as normal, and then I will turn off my auto buyers. With, I think it's I think it's the A key. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, it's the A key. So now I now this is where things become a little bit trickier. So actually, I don't want to turn off my auto buyers like this. I just want to disable every auto buyer except the tick speed auto buyer because of how this this challenge works. But I'm probably gonna have to lose one reset here. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could probably just and and here this is where I do eight seven six five four three two one. That actually doesn't get me as far as I thought I might get. Well, maybe I can try turning on the eighth dimension auto buyer and then doing another seven six five four three two one. Just keep just keep doing the seven six five four three two one using the keybind. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm still I'm getting closer. Where am I? E10,500, E11,000, but now I don't I don't know why it's not going up anymore. 7654321. I don't know what's going on. I guess I just need more galaxies. Yeah, I'm just gonna get more galaxies. It's unfortunate, but that's the fastest strategy. Just keep doing this. I am doing one two three four five six seven eight and then seven six five four three two one until i can get the next galaxy so that's what that sounded it's just me clicking these keys just like putting my finger through all the keys kind of satisfying to to look at and here's the next galaxy see this is yeah this is the thing with these with this challenge just it's just kind of tedious okay maybe i can do it now Four, three, two, one. Still no. Just keep, keep doing the keybinds. Well, e twelve thousand. Come on, maybe. Still not there yet. Keep getting galaxies. That the only thing I can do. I can also get dimension boosts, which I've probably been kind of overlooking. So get galaxy dimension boosts once I max out. Um, just do this. This should probably get me the rest of the way through the challenge, I hope. Still no. Okay. 
One more galaxy, come on. And this is why having that achievement war is really good. Normally I would have, I'd have to be doing the dimension boost every single galaxy, but here we go. Big quest to complete the challenge, and I think this is a good place to end the episode. All antimatter mentioned, multipliers become multiplier, race the 1.05. It's basically just the power glyph, but a more powerful version of it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.